Hi there, welcome back to our video series of building recommendation systems with TensorFlow. My name is Wei, and I'm a developer advocate at Google. In this video, we are going to continue our journey on building recommendation systems. In our previous videos, we discussed collaborative filtering, a very common approach to building recommendation systems. Then we introduced you to the elegant library TensorFlow Recommenders. We showed you how to build a retrieval and ranking system using TF recommenders. We also leveraged SCAN, an efficient library for approximate neighborhood search to make retrieval stage more efficient. But there is a lot more. As I mentioned in the very first video, Google has open sourced many projects to help you build recommendation systems. So in this video, we're going to show you how to leverage another library, TF ranking to improve the ranking stage in the context of TF recommenders. First, let's rewind a bit and see how we find the most relevant items in the ranking stage using TF recommenders. Recall that in our basic ranking tutorial, we trained a model that can predict ratings for user movie pairs. The model was trained to minimize the mean squared error of predicted ratings. Then we used the trained ranking model to predict ratings for each of the three movies. Then we sorted the candidate movies according to the predicted ratings. This is definitely a correct way of doing this. However, optimizing the model's predictions on individual movies is not necessarily the best approach for training ranking models. As a matter of fact, we may not care about predicting individual scores with great accuracy. Instead, we care more about the ability of the model to generate an ordered list of items that matches the user's preference. So instead of optimizing the model's predictions on individual query item pairs, we can optimize the model's ranking of a list as a whole. This method is called list-wise ranking, and we have a great tool to achieve this, TensorFlow Ranking. At a high level, TF Ranking helps you rank a list of candidate items effectively. TF Ranking was released in December 2018, and it is a scalable deep learning library for learning to rank in TensorFlow. It supports popular losses, ranking metrics, and scoring functions. It is widely used inside and outside of Google for various products and projects. At a conceptual level, many applications can be formulated as a ranking problem. For example, when you search machine learning on a search engine, you can think of it as ranking many candidate results and returning the most relevant ones to you in an order list. This is similar in the case of recommendation systems and Q&A systems as well. There are multiple ways of ranking candidate items. In the case of point-wise ranking, candidates are considered individually and independently of each other. This is how we did our ranking in our previous ranking tutorial. In pairwise ranking, we consider each candidate pair and their relevant scores in each pair. Lastly, in list-wise ranking, we consider the ordering of the entire list. So now you understand the basics of learning to rank. Let's go through some code to learn how to do this with TensorFlow Recommenders and TensorFlow Ranking. First, we import TF Recommenders and TF Ranking. Then we prepare the movie lens dataset as in our previous basic ranking example. To perform list-wise optimization, we need to have access to a list of movies each user has rated. But each example in the movie lens 100K dataset contains only the rating of a single movie. To get around this, we transform the dataset so that each example contains a user ID and a list of movies rated by that user. Some movies in the list will be ranked higher than others. The goal of our model will be to make predictions that match this ordering. To do this, we use the tfrs.examples.movielens.movielens to listwise helper function. It takes the movielens 100,000 dataset and generates a dataset containing list examples as discussed above. In the code here, we sample 50 lists for each user for the training data. For each list, we sample five movies from the movies the user rated. Let's see one training example for user ID 681 and that user's rating for five movies. Now we can build our ranking model. Our model 
will be taking in three different losses, mean squared error for pointwise ranking, pairwise hinge loss for pairwise ranking, and a list MLE, which stands for list maximum likelihood estimation loss for listwise ranking. We won't go through the mathematical definitions for pairwise hinge loss and list MLE loss here but I encourage you to check out reference links at the end to learn more about them. Our user and moving embeddings are defined just like before. Next, we have a few layers as our score model to make predictions. Our ranking task will use a new metric, NDCG, which stands for Normalized Discounted Cumulative Gain. NDCG measures a predicted ranking by taking a weighted sum of the actual rating of each candidate. The ratings of movies that are ranked lower by the model would be discounted more. As a result, a good model that ranks highly rated movies on top would have a high NDCG result. Since this metric takes the ranked position of each candidate into account, it is a listwise metric. In the call method, we use tf.repeatop to generate a list of repeated user embeddings so that we can concatenate them with the movie embeddings, which is already a list of embeddings. Then we pass the concatenated embeddings to the dense layer to compute predictions. Lastly, we define compute loose method here. Now we can train our ranking model. When we use mean squared error, we get a NDCG value of 0 0.9053. When we use pairwise hinge loss, we get a NDCG value of 0 0.9058. And lastly, when we use list MLE as our loss, we get a NDCG value of 0 0.9071, which is the highest. This just shows listwise ranking is quite effective in this case. In addition to the TF ranking integration, I'm also very happy to let you know that we have released a new ranking model, DRRM in TensorFlow Recommenders. DRRM stands for Deep Learning Recommendation Model, and it was originally developed by Facebook to tackle large scale re recommendation models by leveraging both data and model parallelism. DRRM is now part of MLPerf benchmark. Our DRRM implementation based on TFRS works seamlessly with GPU and TPU on Google Cloud and can support massive embedding tables as large as 4 terabytes using the latest TPU chips. The DRM code is available on TF Model Garden and you can run it with Criteo terabytes dataset right away. Feel free to check it out in the link below. So to summarize, today we walked you through how to leverage TF ranking to do list-wise ranking in the context of TF recommenders ranking stage. And we also briefly touched upon DRM. Please check out the reference links to here to learn more. In our next episode, we'll be learning about item-to-item -item recommendation and sequential recommendation. See you next time.